Hello and welcome to part 6 of a series where I'm building a protogen head. In this part, I'll be stumbling through KeyCAD to create the parts I need for the matrix portal and hub 75 connectors, assign footprints to them, and design the schematic of a prototype board. This is going to be nowhere near the final product, but it's a good step to validate that I'm using KeyCAD correctly. Laying out the actual board itself will be in the next part. I recorded this in a very casual manner, no cameras, only the screen cap. I didn't even do a proper intro, which is why I'm doing one now in post. I also didn't notice that OBS was using the wrong mic until I started editing the four hours of footage I recorded, so apologies for the audio quality. I'll pay more attention to that next time, and I might also use this whole VTuber thing the whole time to make it somewhat more interesting to look at. Welcome to a casual Let's Mess With KiCad video. I think it's KiCad, maybe it's KiCad. Seems like KiCad's the correct pronunciation. Anyway, moving right along. Uh, so the first sort of business that I want to do here is create a symbol and a footprint for the matrix portal board because I'm going to need that to plug in to whatever other board I make. So I figure it's as good place as I need to start to just get that available in KiCad. I'm just going to be learning as we go along. So let's start with a symbol. Alright, so now I need to create a new symbol. Oh, I need to select a symbol library. Okay, how do I select a symbol library? I probably should make it global library. Ah, oh, let's make a project library. Uh, go to gym symbols. Oh, now I can make a new symbol. There we go. Matrix portal M4. Uh, default reference designator. I guess I'll leave it as U for now. There. Okay. Now I need to draw it. Uh, well, that didn't draw anything. Oh, wait. I remember. It's because KiCad is very weird. You don't click and drag. You click and then drag and then click. So I need to look at the actual schematic. Well, let's stop and think a minute. So this board has 16 pins here in this 20 pin connector block and 11, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, yeah, 11 pins along the side here. So that's a total pin out of 27 and they're in different locations. So how do you want to, how do I want to visualize that on the schematic? And more to the point, what do I name the pins? These pins should be easy. They're just 11 pins on the side. So let's go ahead and get started with those. We have a, a thing here and we need 11 pins here. So if I add a pin, uh, I have to actually do this like that. So we'll go from We'll use the silk screen to indicate the top. So the topmost pin is this up. And we're gonna call this pin one. We're just gonna start from there and just go. So it's an input pin. Is there anything else to set here? And I think input is what we want. Yeah, it's definitely inverted. And I don't know how you're supposed to, in this particular case, it's, I guess, a power output. Since this thing is powering the rest of the circuit. So that's the easy, straightforward part of this circuit diagram. The next part is connector, which is a bit annoying. So this is really 20 pins because there's the four not connected pins, which I may as well include just for the sake of making the footprint maybe a little better. I don't know. So that means the first two are gonna be non-connected. Uh, I don't necessarily have to make this be sequential numbering. I could probably skip the 20 and start from there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So the first pin here is PB00. And this is then 
22, and it must be an output pin, as I discovered after I soldered everything up, which is unfortunate. Oh, I need to switch these to be left. Okay, so hopefully that's all I need to do here. So I need to open the footprint editor now. Okay, so now I have the footprint editor. Similarly, I need to do a library. How did I call these? Gotogen, Gotogen footprints. There. Create a new empty footprint. Four. It is a through hole. All right. So I need to make a rectangle. Where do I put my calipers? There are my calipers. So I'm doing this without a camera. Sorry. So get my calipers. Put them on the sh short edge of the board. Forty-four point four millimeters. For go with. X because that's just the way this is. So at 44.4, which isn't available on my grid, I height of the board is 63.3 and you know what I think I have I think this is one of the few things that I can actually get from Adafruit's site yeah they actually have this information so 0.5 inches and in millimeters 63.5 okay that's close to what I measured and the other one is 1.75 There, so now if I grab the text here Just move the text out of the way a little bit So now we have our board and next, we need to define our pins. And does this give me... This, unfortunately, doesn't give me dimensions for these pins. The important measurement is going to be from the two sets of pins to each other. So anyway, I need to start laying down some pins. So let's add some pins. So are these centered? These look centered. Well, let's just put one down, and then we can move it with... Oh, um, or KiCad could crash. Okay, so the only thing we lost was adding that one pin, or pad, or whatever you want to call it. So I come over here and click it, and then switch back here and do this. Uh, well that's not good. Let's save it this time. Let's try doing something different. What if I right click? I should have known that was going to happen. But I actually have a better, uh, better idea on fixing that. This can just be 
Haha. There. Wait. There! That is exactly what I wanted. Annoyingly, I should have actually done that later. If only I could load this board into Eagle. It doesn't hurt to download Eagle and open Eagle and just look at Eagle. My computer just doesn't want me to work on this tonight, apparently. As much as I want to keep working on it tonight, I don't really want to reboot my computer just to try to get this stuff to work. So I'm probably just going to call it there for the night. It's getting late anyway. Not that I'm tired, but... I'm just going to call it there and I'll pick this back up tomorrow. Okay, so that's the next day. Eagle is working. Apparently there's a known issue with this version of Eagle or something and you rename one of the DLLs in the installation folder and then it starts working. I don't know why they haven't actually properly fixed it, but whatever, it works. So I can look at the board for the matrix portal. Uh, KiCad was working before I started everything else, and now it's freezing again. So I'm just going to try to avoid that. But I can figure out what I need to know from here, which is that 0 0.075 is the center of the pins that are along here. So if I come over here, a 0.075, and I guess I can look at this, 0 0.65, 0 0.075. So I can just do 0.65 inch in millimeters, I get 16.51. And I do this, what was that special? Move, move exactly. So Y needs to be that. And then what did I say the other one was? 0.075. I do this, that should be exactly in the correct place, and then if I create an array of 11 with standard pin spacing, these should be correct. And then I can create another pin down here. Come look at this. There we go. This. Oops. That. And then I can do this. And it should work, I think. They need a vertical then horizontal. And it reset the numbers back to one, which isn't correct. So these are 21. Shoot, I'd need to look at my, uh, uh, starts at 20. So almost. There we go. That's what I wanted. Probably should have started at 21, but oh well. You know what? I'm going to change that to be 21. Because that makes more sense. So that just means I need to redo all of these. There we go. That makes much more sense now. This doesn't look right. This is definitely not right. There we go. That looks better. 10.795. 10.795. That 
is for some reason not going straight. That's about five millimeters. back eagle. I wonder if eagle will help me here. It's about 16.6. Oh! Oh! Oh shit. That's handy. on the other. 13.97 on the other. Okay, that's this is the only measurement that actually matters. The rest of this can be good enough. This is the only one that matters. Oh, right. I keep forgetting that you draw shapes differently in this program as any other sane program. Well, I drew that box like the exact correct size. is at least labeled incorrectly. Do I still have the schematic open? Oh, it is absolutely wrong. Yeah, that's what that should be. And then does that mean that... Oh, uh, let's finish this before I go fuck with that. I needed to do that to maintain my sanity. I should have numbered these pins more differently. More differently, yes. I'm not changing it now. Where'd my mouse cursor go? Oh, keycat froze. Again. So doing it that way, it at least inserts it. something wrong here. There. I went 
Okay, so let's do some latch. Um, probably should label these differently. What? Oh. Because it thinks that's a... Fair? Ah. Oh, there we go. That's what I needed. That's what I needed. And with that, we'll save the laying out of the board and tweaking the schematic until next time. If you're enjoying this series, let me know by hitting that like or subscribe button. Thanks for watching.